Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome, I hope you'll be doing well. So today I'm back with another time lapse video, Miss Catching. Yeah, and as I promised in the previous video, I'm gonna talk about some few things uh, that, I, that I learned or that I relearned. I learned, yeah, I learned. <laughs> I learned while doing this, the other piece. That's one of the piece I did on an ivory paper, and it's been out since I used ivory paper. Ivory paper is a really heavy paper. And, you know, it requires it's a very smooth paper. It requires you to like put a lot of pressure on the pencils to bring out the desired quality. I don't know, but that's me though. I don't know about you all. Uh, me, I haven't still I, I haven't still mastered using ivory paper. Uh, this current project, I've used another material that I've been using often and uh i'm feeling like really comfortable using this concern paper this concern paper is uh, is more rough it's more rough it's lighter and if you put some small stroke in it you know it gets dark really fast the ivory paper you have to apply a lot of pressure imagine my pencil broke like three times or four times and that stuff is really annoying while i was doing the the piece so yeah, so different paper gives you different, makes you draw differently. I don't know, that's the right way to, to put it. Uh, depending on the medium you use, you're using, your art style will change. So, an advice I can give you all, stick to the medium which you are more comfortable in drawing in. But it's also important to experiment on other medium, because you know, a jack of all trades is better than a master of one. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah. So another thing I was gonna talk about is is the time. As you do your art piece, the more time you put into it, the more details you you'll capture. Because if I compare this art piece and the other art piece, the other art pieces, the other sketches rather, because I've been doing sketches of late. The other sketches that I've been doing, uh, the other ones are so rough and they don't capture a lot of details. But this one I managed to capture more details simply because I took more time in it. Uh, this one I've done it in two days, but the other sketches I did them within one day and I left them. So time is really of essence, but I've been trying to improve my drawing speed. That's why I've been doing the sketches. Yeah, you know, even if you don't capture a lot of details, doing the first sketches is very essential in your growth. Because to me, I feel like drawing fast and being able to capture all the important details is a really cool thing. I don't know what's your thought on it, but yeah, that's, that's how I feel about it. Imagine finishing uh, an A2 project in two days or three days. So if you if you practice like if you do the speed sketches, doing the speed sketches ain't that bad thing. And I'm gonna do them a lot. This year I'm gonna do a lot of speed sketches because it will help me like be able to capture the important details in 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 a very short period of time. But the problem, my quality won't be as good. Because right now, I've checked this drawing. I'm really impressed with it. I'm feeling really nice that I've finished this artwork. I even added some few playthings at the end. Because like, I felt really, felt, felt really refreshed. Because this art, the quality has really improved. Yeah, but yeah, time is really our essence. So those are the two things that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse. If I have anything else, I'm gonna talk about them in the next video. And y'all be kind in the comment sections. <laughs> this is my first time talking in a video, so 